We're back with the latest Rangers transfer news on the morning of the 26th. A few days away for St Johnston, but with another player that could be leaving, of course, we lost big Charlie McCann the other day, and then his manager literally just gets sacked. Was it yesterday morning? Something like that. So that's why I asked him off to a good start for him. But Ibrox attacker Josh McPake set to join English side permanently, and it could be... Who's it going to be? Chesterfield. Not exactly filling you with loads of confidence. I mean, it says here he he's not really... He's just, he's just never going to make it at Rangers, right? I can sit here and talk about the guy for five minutes, but realistically, right, he's, just, he's not good enough. Like, he is just the definition of pish. Not to bury the kid, but uh, like, what, well, what's he ever going to do for Rangers? Nothing, right? He's, he's experienced loan spells with Dundee, Morton, Tramier, Harrogate Town, Warcamp, and is currently at Queen's Park. Now, I'll be, I'll be honest, Queen's Park are actually doing pretty well this season. Could be uh, getting into the Scottish Premiership, but again, I'm not really like, yeah, you know what? Somebody like this who's 21 has not really shown signs of improvement over a number of years. It's time to cut ties with him, I mean, and I get him off the books. Find the squad, get rid of him because he's never going to feature for Rangers. You know, if, like, if Beale's going to build his team or whatever, this guy, what's he, what's he going to do? You know, he's going to do heat hot. It's not like he's 18 and he's like, he's had one loan spell. He's had numerous, man. Look at the teams he's been on loan to. Anyway, though, Kevin Nisbet is on his way to Millwall. 2.5 million has been accepted for the striker, which means are Rangers going to jump in and hijack a potential move? I don't think they will. Of course, Barry Ferguson saying we should. I mean, I rate Nisbet, but like I said yesterday, I just don't see Rangers or Celtic, for that matter, spending this sort of money now on a player that's proven in the league. I think I don't know. I know. It, I know it might sound ludicrous, but like, who was the last person Rangers spent decent money on in the league? Now, Greg Dorkey, we signed him for seven hundred thousand for Hamilton. I can't actually recall any others off the top of my head. You know, Kamara fifty thousand. But who else? Who else have we signed? I mean, Lafferty. I think was quarter of a million a few years ago. But again, you know, we're not talking millions here. Like two and a half million for a player in the league. I just don't see Celtic and Rangers doing it. Personally, I think Nisbet would, is a pretty really good sign for two and a half million. He will get you goals no matter what. But again, it's kind of like, well, you bring Nisbet in, Chulak and Morelos are there. Hot week. It's two and a half million for a guy that's going to be on the bench most of the time. Or like, you know, not even, he's going to be like third choice if those two, other two are firing. But, you know, again, Nisbet could be starting every game for Rangers if, if you know, if things go his way or if Bale prefers him to the other two. I'm not saying... Nisbet's incapable of starting those games, but I just feel like it's you're having three strikers that are very similar, and you're only playing a formation that you can play one up top in. You know, it, it's kind of like you're limiting the options. And again, I think if, if, if it's announced that Morelos agrees to move on, I think, yes, go get Nisbet right now. But again, I don't really see that. But, you know, he scored seven goals in six league games since the season resumed. Of course, he was injured basically a year there so I mind he's, he's played for Scotland he, he knows how to put the ball in the back of the net he's good I rate him he's better than the likes of Ross Stewart you'd rather sign Nisbet for two and a half million than Ross Stewart for ten million anyway though Raskin um, reports, reports were that a fee had been agreed not so much though because due to this uh, they, they we're pretty far away from agreeing a fee even though it looks like we're going to get him it's looking like the summer, and that's not ideal, because, I mean, of course you'd rather him in now, but I've seen people debate it on Twitter, like, there's no much point wasting millions to bring someone in six months early, I get that, but if you don't, is it not kind of writing off the season, like, I know, like, you have two cups, and the league's nine points, like, if Rangers make the right amount of signings, there's no reason, like, the, like, like if, if Rangers signings hit the ground running, right, and we continue to build on this undefeated streak that we've went on. There's no reason why Rangers couldn't claw the gap to Celtic. I get it, it's out of our hands, right? But Celtic, you know, it would be an incredible ask for them to win literally every other game apart from the two old forms. But again, it's an incredible ask for us to do the exact same. So you're in this, a similar situation there. But, you know, as for asking, depends how much, but if it's only like, you know, one... 1 million, 2 million to bring him in early. Personally, I would do but again. I think the fact that they've brought in Cantwell for 3 million early, are they really going to do the same with Raskin? Only time will tell, guys. Maybe, you know, how much they'll make for McPake and that'll get fired into a 
the bank and then that'll go on this but nah personally I, I don't really see this deal happening I think it'll get announced that he's joined this on a six month I think it's going to be a similar situation to Suter last last January but as for this I don't think it's happening so until next time leave your thoughts down below I'll probably make a fed later hopefully stuff gets closer we put more bids in until then peace Woo.